So this is part of the Stoke Edith estate. It's pretty much in the middle of it, an estate that's been here for 400 years. This particular field has been in arable cropping for 20 or 30 years. It used to be a dairy farm. And uh, right now these rows here are still asparagus. It might be turning into asparagus for picking in the next few weeks. And last week, this, this was also part of the asparagus field, but we've taken a lease out, or the co-op that's doing this venture has taken a lease out on this part of the field. It's, it's about two and a half, three acres. And in the next couple of three weeks, this is going to turn into a small solar park with a capacity for up to 300 kilowatts, 250 kilowatts being installed initially. And there'll be framework fundamentally then going to be pointing south. And those panels are going to generate circa 250 kilowatts of energy, which is going to supply electricity into these commercial units, which are literally just behind us. Uh, my name's Jeremy Thorpe, and I work for an organisation called Share Energy and we help community groups to set up renewable energy cooperatives. The idea is to get renewable energy back uh, owned by local people and um, in the uh, control of the, the local community. Um, so my name is Louise Prosser, I'm the Project and Customer Services Manager at Kapler Energy uh, and we are currently in the process of a tail end of 250 kilowatt ground mount system for the Stoke Edith project. Uh, the project um, has been put together by a number of different people. Um, it's acting as a very much a community focused project. So the way it works with a scheme like this is that a cooperative is set up and that cooperative raises money for a renewable energy scheme by selling shares um, in the local community. Once it's raised the money through selling shares, the scheme can be built and then for the next 20 years um, the cooperative will get um, the income from selling electricity and from the feed-in tariff and that can be used to um, pay running costs, to pay back the capital that was used to build the scheme, to pay some interest on the money that's been um, put in the shares and to creates a community fund to benefit the local community. So my name is Nick Sherwood. I've lived in Herefordshire for more than 30 years. I've been working in the environmental field professionally and in a voluntary capacity for most of that time. And I'm um, very pleased to be part of Pomona Solar Co-op. I'm one of the three voluntary directors. In, in recent years, a lot of my work, which started out as being in sustainable waste management, went on to carbon management, is now looking at ways in which we can actually create a sustainable, resilient economy by using things like renewable energy, for example. We've raised about um, £200,000 at the moment and we need to um, get about £300,000 by the end of the, um, of the, the share offer. Um, and once that's done, this scheme will run for uh, 20 years, generating electricity, um, providing some of that electricity uh, as cheaper electricity into some local businesses uh, and exporting the rest into the grid. Part of the importance of a project like this um, is to bring together people who perhaps live locally or maybe who don't, um, but who see a value in starting to source energy, in this case locally, rather than from the big six. And part of the importance of doing this is that whereas at the moment Herefordshire spends something like half a billion pounds a year on energy, all of which, or 99% of which, leaves the county to go and pay other multinational companies and uh, investors and stockholders all over the world, potentially. Um, by investing in a project like this, the money will actually circulate within the local economy.